Hello, this is Simplify Academy, dividing fractions and whole numbers. We are going to talk about whole numbers, do a little bit of practice, and then we are going to divide fractions and do practice. You'll notice that a lot of what we do in this lesson with dividing fractions is a review from the types of things that we've done in the last two lessons, dividing fractions and simplifying fractions. Let's talk about whole numbers. You can always write a whole number as a fraction. Remember, fractions just mean division, so every time you're given a whole number, like 5, for example, you can write it as 5 divided by 1. 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. So 5 written as a fraction is 5 over 1. What would 7 be as a fraction? Well, 7 over 1. How about 9? We're doing odd numbers, I guess. What's 9 as a fraction? 9 over 1. Good. 15. Another odd number. 15 over 1. Good. 21. What is that? Oh, 21 over 1. Ooh, we're switching things up. What's 21 over 1? That's a fraction. I want you to write this one as a whole number. Oh, 21. Very good. How about this one? This one's a little bit tricky. What about 1 over 1? What is that as a whole number? From a fraction to a whole number, that's equal to 1. So when we're dividing by whole numbers, all we need to do is change them into a fraction over 1 and then do the same steps that we've done up to this point. Let's take a look. So if I'm given 19 over 5 divided by 4, I would rewrite it as 19 over 5 divided by 4 over 1. That is it. Literally, that is the only difference. And then we're just going to follow the steps for division of fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal, which means we keep the first fraction. 19 over 5 becomes 19 over 5. Change the symbol from division to multiplication. And the fraction 4 over 1 becomes the reciprocal. It flips upside down and becomes 1 over 4. Then we multiply. 19 times 1 is 19. 5 times 4 is 20. In this case, it's simplified, so we don't need to do anything else. 19 over 20 is our final answer. And that's it. Notice the only thing that's different from this and our previous lesson about dividing fractions is making that number 4 into 4 over 1. That's it. That's the only difference you're going to see. Let's do another one. 7 divided by 25 over 3. Notice that we've changed 7 into 7 over 1, and that's the only thing we need to change. Everything else is going to remain exactly as it is. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. 7 over 1 stays the same. The division changes to multiplication. And 25 over 3, we get the reciprocal. In other words, we flip it upside down to become 3 over 25. That's the steps. Multiply straight across like normal. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 times 25 is 25. Boom. And 21 over 25 doesn't have any common factors, so it doesn't need to be simplified. That's it. So I'm hoping that this, these two practice questions without simplifying will show you the new material. The new material is just that 7 becomes 7 over 1. In our last one, the I think it was 4 became 4 over 1, whatever the number was. I don't remember. All right, now let's look at this one. 3 over 4 divided by 6. I want you to try that one. It will have simplifying in it, so you're going to need to write it as a fraction, set it up as a multiplying by the reciprocal, and then simplify at the end. Hopefully your eyeballs aren't popping out of your head like this guy by the time we get finished, but I have faith in you. Try it out. Hey, welcome back. Was your first step setting it up like this? Notice the only change here is that I made 6 into 6 over 1. Then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. I call that keep change flip. You keep the first fraction the same. Change the symbol from division to multiplication, and you flip over the, the second fraction. That 6 over 1 becomes the reciprocal. In other words, it's 1 over 6. Now we're going to multiply. When you multiply, you go top times top, bottom times bottom. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 6 is 24. And now we need to simplify. 
Now, when you're simplifying, you are going to list the factors of both numbers. So we're going to list the factors of 3 and the factors of 24 and try to find our greatest common factor. In this case, the greatest common factor, as you see in the list there, is 3. So what we do to the fraction is we divide the top and bottom by 3 to get our final answer of 1 over 8. And that is how we solve one of these questions that has multiplying by or dividing by a whole number needs to be multiplied by the reciprocal. We need to give that, make that whole number into a fraction and then make the reciprocal and we have simplification. So basically all of these steps is kind of as complicated as it gets. There might be slightly larger numbers, but basically this has all the steps in it that you'll need. So I want you to pause the video and practice. I want you to try this one out. Go. Step number one. Five becomes five over one. Did you get that place? Again, all you did was make five into five over one. What's our next step? Multiply by the reciprocal. Five over one stays as five over one. Division changes to multiplication and our second fraction becomes the reciprocal. We keep the first, change the symbol, flip the second one. Keep change flip. Now we're going to multiply like normal, straight across. Top times top, bottom times bottom. 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. And then we simplify if needed. And you're going to go back in your mind to the time when we started this lesson. And you know that 10 over 1 is equal to 10. Like how we did that? All right. Very nicely done. All right. So a couple things to remember. You make whole numbers into fractions, keep change flip and multiply like normal. Remember to always simplify your work. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Make sure to practice using the worksheet. Have a wonderful day.